progeria is an extremely rare genetic disorder wherein symptoms resembling aspects of aging are manifested at a very early age. Progeria is one of several progeroid syndromes. The word progeria comes from the Greek words pro, meaning before, or premature, and gar ras, meaning old age. The disorder has a very low incidence rate, occurring in an estimated 1 per 8 million live births. Those born with progeria typically live to their mid-teens to early twenties. It is a genetic condition that occurs as a new mutation, and is rarely inherited, as patients usually do not live to reproduce. Although the term progeria applies strictly speaking to all diseases characterized by premature aging symptoms, and is often used as such, it is often applied specifically in reference to Hutchinson sauna euro guilford progeria syndrome. Scientists are particularly interested in progeria because it might reveal clues about the normal process of aging. Progeria was first described in 1886 by Jonathan Hutchinson. It was also described independently in 1897 by Hastings Guilford. The condition was later named Hutchinson euro guilford progeria syndrome. Signs and Symptoms Children with progeria usually develop the first symptoms during their first few months of life. The earliest symptoms may include a failure to thrive and a localized scleroderma-like skin condition. As a child ages past infancy, additional conditions become apparent usually around 18 a euro 24 months. Limited growth, full body alopecia, and a distinctive appearance are all characteristics of progeria. Signs and symptoms of this progressive disease tend to become more marked as the child ages. Later, the condition causes wrinkled skin, atherosclerosis, kidney failure, loss of eyesight, and cardiovascular problems. Scleroderma, a hardening and tightening of the skin on trunk and extremities of a body, is prevalent. People diagnosed with this disorder usually have small, fragile bodies, like those of elderly people. The face is usually wrinkled, with a larger head in relation to the body, a narrow face and a beak nose. Prominent scalp veins are noticeable, as well as prominent eyes. Muscular skeletal degeneration causes loss of body fat and muscle, stiff joints, hip dislocations, and other symptoms generally absent in the non-elderly population. Individuals usually retain normal mental and motor development. Cause, in normal conditions, the LMNA gene codes for a structural protein called prelamin A. There is a farnesyl functional group attached to the carboxyl terminus of its structure. The farnesyl group allows prelamin A to attach temporarily to the nuclear rim. Once the protein is attached, the farnesyl group is removed. Failure to remove this farnesyl group permanently affixes the protein to the nuclear rim. Without its farnesyl group, prelamin A is referred to as lamin A lamina, along with lamin B and lamin C, makes up the nuclear lamina which provides structural support to the nucleus. Before the late 20th century, research on progeria yielded very little information about the syndrome. In 2003, the cause of progeria was discovered that a B point mutation in position 1824 of the LMNA gene, in which cytosine is replaced with thymine. This mutation creates a 5 feet cryptic splice site within exon 11, resulting in an abnormally short mature mRNA transcript. This mRNA strand, when translated, yields an abnormal variant of the prelamin A protein whose farnesyl group cannot be removed. Because its farnesyl group cannot be removed, this abnormal protein, referred to as progerin, is permanently affixed to the nuclear rim, and therefore does not become part of the nuclear lamina. Without lamin A, the nuclear lamina is unable to provide the nuclear envelope with adequate structural support, causing it to take on an abnormal shape. Since the support that the nuclear lamina normally provides is necessary for the organizing of chromatin during mitosis, weakening of the nuclear lamina limits the ability of the cell to divide. Progerin may also play a role in normal human aging, since its production is activated in senescent will type cells. Unlike accelerated aging diseases, progeria is not caused by defective DNA repair. Because these diseases cause changes in different aspects of aging, but never in every aspect, they are often called segmental progerias. Diagnosis Diagnosis is suspected according to signs and symptoms, such as skin changes, abnormal growth, 
and loss of hair. A genetic test for LMNA mutations can confirm the diagnosis of progeria. Treatment No treatment has proven effective. Most treatment focuses on reducing complications with coronary artery bypass surgery or low-dose aspirin. Children may also benefit from a high-energy diet. Growth hormone treatment has been attempted. The use of morphlinos has also been attempted in order to reduce progerin production. Antisense morphlino oligonucleotides nucleotides specifically directed against the mutated exon 11 a euro exon 12 junction and the mutated pre-mRNAs were used. A type of anti-cancer drug, the farnesyl transferase inhibitors, has been proposed but their use has been mostly limited to animal models. A Phase II clinical trial using the FTI lonafarnib began in May 2007. In studies on the cells another anti-cancer drug, rapamycin, caused removal of progerin from the nuclear membrane through autophagy. It has been proved that pravastatin and zoldronate are effective drugs when it comes to the blocking of farnesyl group production. However, it is important to remember that no treatment is able to cure progeria. Farnesyl transferase inhibitors are drugs that inhibit the activity of an enzyme needed in order to make a link between progerin proteins and farnesyl groups. This link generates the permanent attachment of the progerin to the nuclear rim. In progeria, cellular damage can be appreciated because that attachment takes place and the nucleus is not in a normal state. Lonafarnib is an FTI which means it can avoid this link, so progerin cannot remain attached to the nucleus rim and it now has a more normal state. The delivery of lonafarnib is not approved by U.S. Food and Drug Administration. Therefore, it can only be used in certain clinical trials. Until the treatment of FTIs is implemented in progeria children we will not know its effects seguro, which are positive in mice. Pravastatin, traded as Prevagal or Selectine, is included in the family of statins. As well as zoldronate, its utility in HGPS is the prevention of farnesyl groups formation, which progerin needs to provoke the disease. Some animal trials have been realized using FTIs or a combination of pravastatin and zoldronate so as to observe whether they are capable of reversing abnormal nuclei. The results, obtained by blinded electron microscopic analysis and immunofluorescence microscopy, showed that nucleus abnormalities could be reversed in transgenic mice expressing progerin. The reversion was also observed in vivo urocultured cells from human subjects with progeria uro due to the action of the pharmax, which block protein prenylation. The authors of that trial add, when it comes to the results, that, a uro oe they further suggest that skin biopsy may be useful to determine if protein farnesylation inhibitors are exerting effects in subjects with HGPS in clinical trials a uro. Unlike FTIs, pravastatin and zoldronate were approved by the US FDA, although they are not sold as a treatment for progeria. Pravastatin is used to decrease cholesterol levels and zoldronate to prevent hypercalcemia. Rapamycin, also known as serolimus, is a macrolide. There are recent studies concerning rapamycin which conclude that it can minimize the phenotypic effects of progeria fibroblasts. Other observed consequences of its use are, abolishment of nuclear bulbing, degradation of progerin in affected cells and reduction of insoluble progerin aggregates formation. All these results do not come from any clinical trial, although it is believed that the treatment might benefit HGPS kids. A 2012 clinical trial found that the cancer drug lonafarnib can improve weight gain and other symptoms of progeria. Prognosis, as there is no known cure, few people with progeria exceed 13 years of age. At least 90% of patients die from complications of atherosclerosis, such as heart attack or stroke. Mental development is not adversely affected. In fact, intelligence tends to be normal to above average. With respect to the features of aging that progeria appears to manifest, the development of symptoms is comparable to aging at a rate 8 to 10 times faster than normal. With respect to features of aging that progeria does not exhibit, patients show no neurodegeneration or cancer predisposition. They also do not develop the so-called wear and tear conditions commonly associated with aging, such as cataracts and osteoarthritis. Although there may not be any successful treatments for progeria itself, 
there are treatments for the problems it causes, such as arthritic, respiratory, and cardiovascular problems. Epidemiology A study from the Netherlands has shown an incidence of 1 in 4 a million births. Currently, there are 100 known cases in the world. Approximately 140 cases have been reported in medical history. However, the Progeria Research Foundation believes there may be as many as 150 undiagnosed cases worldwide. Classical Hutchine Sauna Euro Guilford Progeria syndrome is usually caused by a sporadic mutation taking place during the early stages of embryo development. It is almost never passed on from affected parent to child, as affected children rarely live long enough to have children themselves. There have been only two cases in which a healthy person was known to carry the LMNA mutation that causes progeria. These carriers were identified because they passed it on to their children. One family from India has five children with progeria, though not the classical HGPS type. This family was the subject of a 2005 body shock documentary entitled The 80-Year-Old Children. The Van de Weert family of Belgium has two children, Mikhail and Amber, with classic HGPS. The first reported case of a black child with progeria was identified in September 2011. The South African child, named Ondla Metz for Lates, was born in 1999. The Progeria Research Foundation at Children's Hospital Boston, affiliated with the Harvard University Medical School, is treating her and monitoring her case. Research Several discoveries have been made that have led to greater understandings and perhaps eventual treatment for this disease. A 2003 report in Nature said that progeria may be a de novo dominant trait. It develops during cell division in a newly conceived zygote or in the gametes of one of the parents. It is caused by mutations in the LMNA gene on chromosome 1. The mutated form of lamin A is commonly known as progerin. One of the authors, Leslie Gordon, was a physician who did not know anything about progeria until her own son, Sam, was diagnosed at 21 months. Gordon and her husband, pediatrician Scott Burns, founded the Progeria Research Foundation. Lamin A Lamin A is a major component of a protein scaffold on the inner edge of the nucleus called the nuclear lamina that helps organize nuclear processes such as RNA and DNA synthesis. Pre-lamin A contains a CAAX box at the C-terminus of the protein. This ensures that the cystine is vancillated and allows pre-lamin A to bind membranes, specifically the nuclear membrane. After pre-lamin A has been localized to the cell nuclear membrane, the C-terminal amino acids, including the vancillated cystine, are cleaved off by a specific protease. The resulting protein, now lamin A, is no longer membrane-bound, and carries out functions inside the nucleus. In HGPS, the recognition site that the enzyme requires for cleavage of pre-lamin A to lamin A is mutated. Lamin A cannot be produced, and pre-lamin A builds up on the nuclear membrane, causing a characteristic nuclear bulbing. This results in the symptoms of progeria, although the relationship between the misshapen nucleus and the symptoms is not known. A study that compared HGPS patient cells with the skin cells from young and elderly normal human subjects found similar defects in the HGPS and elderly cells, including downregulation of certain nuclear proteins, increased DNA damage, and demethylation of histone, leading to reduced heterochromatin. Nematodes over their lifespan show progressive lamin changes comparable to HGPS in all cells but neurons and gametes. These studies suggest that lamin A defects are associated with normal aging. Mouse model A mouse model of progeria exists, though in the mouse, the LMNA pre-lamin A is not mutated. Instead, ZMPSTE24, the specific protease that is required to remove the C-terminus of pre-lamin A, is missing. Both cases result in the buildup of vancillated pre-lamin A on the nuclear membrane and in the characteristic nuclear LMNA bulbing. Fong AL use a farnesyl transferase inhibitor in this mouse model to inhibit protein vancillation of pre-lamin A treated mice had greater grip strength and lower likelihood of rib fracture and may live longer than untreated mice. This method does not directly cure the underlying cause of progeria. 
This method prevents prelaminae from going to the nucleus in the first place so that no prelaminae can build up on the nuclear membrane, but equally, there is no production of normal laminae in the nucleus. Laminae does not appear to be necessary for life. Mice in which the LMNA gene is knocked out show no embryological symptoms. This implies that it is the buildup of prelaminae in the wrong place, rather than the loss of the normal function of laminae, that causes the disease. It was hypothesized that part of the reason that treatment with an FTI such as alendronate is inefficient is due to prenylation by geronaldrinyl transferase. Since statins inhibit geronaldrinyl transferase, the combination of an FTI and statins was tried, and markedly improved the aging like phenotypes of mice deficient in the metalloproteinase ZMPSTE24, including growth retardation, loss of weight, lipodystrophy, hair loss, and bone defects. Popular culture, perhaps one of the earliest influences of progeria on popular culture occurred in the 1922 short story The Curious Case of Benjamin Button by F. Scott Fitzgerald. The main character, Benjamin Button, is born as a 70-year-old man and ages backwards. It has been suggested that this was inspired by progeria. Charles Dickens may have described a case of progeria in the Smallweed family of Bleak House, specifically in the grandfather and his grandchildren, Judy and twin brother Bart. A Bollywood movie, Poor, was made about the condition. In it, the lead played a 13-year-old child affected by progeria. The 2006 movie Renaissance deals with progeria. The 1996 movie Jack deals with the eponymous character, played by Robin Williams, who has a genetic disorder similar to progeria, and the difficulties he faces fitting into society. The 1983 film The Hunger, starring David Bowie, Catherine Deneuve and Susan Sarandon had progeria as a focus of study by Susan Sarandon's character, Dr. Sarah Roberts. Young at Heart, the 16th episode of the first season of the television show The X-Files, features a violent criminal who has seemingly grown younger due to treatment by a corrupt doctor, who had developed his technique by experimenting on progeria sufferers. In the full book series Otherland, by Tad Williams, one of the main characters suffers from progeria. Harold Cushner's 1978 book When Bad Things Happen to Good People, which explores God and the problem of evil, was written in response to his 14-year-old son's death due to progeria. South African artist hip-hop artist Leon Botha was one of the oldest known progeria sufferers, surviving to the age of 26 before his death in June 2011. Meg Casey, a Milford, Connecticut artist and spokesperson for the handicapped, was born October 1, 1955 and died May 26, 1985. She survived for 29 years with progeria. In the Star Trek, Voyager episode Scientific Method, the main character Kakate begins to rapidly age as a result of an alien science experiment, which the crew are unaware is occurring. Progeria is posited as one possible cause to the rapid aging, but the doctor notes that there had never been an adult case, and that the disorder had supposedly been eradicated sometime during the 22nd century, approximately 200 years before the events of that episode. Life According to Sam was a 2013 documentary on Foxborough High School student Sam Burns. Produced by Sean Fine and Andrea Nix, it explains progeria and follows the process of finding a cure for it. In an interview, Sam Burns had said that the most important thing people should know about him is that he had a very happy life. See also, Biogerontology, Sam Burns, a Massachusetts boy who suffered from progeria and helped raise awareness of the disease. Degenerative disease, Haley O'Kynes, an English girl with progeria known for spreading awareness, laminopathies, lipodystrophy, Lizzie B. Leskis, an American motivational speaker whose medical condition approximates neonatal progeroid syndrome, references. External links, Progeria Aging Starts in Childhood, Progeria Research Foundation, Progeria News and Media Collection, Gene Review UW Entry on Hutchine Sauna Euro Guilford Progeria Syndrome, Segmental Progeria, ABC 20-20 Special News Program about Progeria, with Barbara Walters.